Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Underrail Expedition. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that he chose to join me today, after I replayed a little bit of last episode, not too much. Um, but I am now in, uh, in the Institute of Chort. There's a passage there? Did I forget? I forgot. I forgot. There's no passage. It's just the entrance to the Institute of Chort. So, um, yeah, last episode we dealt with some fools in in Core City. And uh, in between episodes, I actually uh, tested the Z the Shal 001. And uh, it, uh, it, uh, ma it malfunctioned. So, yeah, we're gonna... Uh, we're gonna... Uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to re finish that. So, that's good, because that means that it's a quest that I can finish. Something, uh, need something, sin sister? Sinister? <laughs> no, sister. Yeah, um, I have deployed the device. I know, I'm, uh, getting some readings. Were there any problems with the, uh, the authorities? I managed to run into a group of, uh, bandits? Bandits at the station. Tell me what happened. Uh, well, they were a tough bunch, but I can, no, actually, I just dominated them and went about my business. He gives you a surprised look. Magnificent tor chort. Just when you think everything would go as planned, something like this has to come up. Luckily, you have experience in dealing with similar situations, Gary. And that you were, and that you were successful in the... What? I don't know what that is. Anyway, I was indeed successful. Now, the reception we're getting is not as smooth as I had hoped for, but... We'll work on it, see if we can tune it a bit. We'll analyze the readings and then we'll know the results. Here are 500 for you. Um, any, any more uh, work for me? Take another emitter even farther? I'm afraid that is all for now, unless you have some experience in particle physics. Uh, don't answer that. With your help, we now have more than enough data to study and plan our next moves. Also, a lot of paperwork for the next symposium. And also, we are fresh out of emitters. And also, there's a lot of also's in this sentence. Thank you very much, Gary. Your efforts were apex, to say the least. Is there anything else you need? No, I, I did the, the quest. Short guide you. Uh, I didn't say short guide you to, to him. Everything is fine. So, um, we got three experience. Didn't we level up? I was going to... I was actually going to... We didn't level up. Um, I was going to start the episode by... 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 Well... I didn't start the episode by saying that we were gonna level, or gonna level up, but I meant to. I forgot about that because I got sidetracked. Uh, but uh, we might level up. In fact, um, I, I figured it was gonna be three experience that we got uh, from from the the quest. Uh, but we might level up just now. Oh, Zal zero zero. That's not. That's wrong. It's not. It's zero. It's not zero one one. It's zero zero one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what, what an interesting typo over there. Ho, 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 it's you, sister. Yes, there was a problem with um, the, the weapon. Magnificent short. Tell me what happened, sister. Uh, well, at first it worked fine, but after some time it started leaking acid and spraying it in all directions, even back at me. I am speechless. We performed numerous tests, but I guess we overlooked something. Magnificent short, his excellency will not be happy. Luckily, he is not here at the moment, and, um, listen, may, may, may I have uh, the, the weapon back so that we can investigate what caused the issue? Uh, yeah, here you go. Thank you, sister. I am very disappointed with this abor abortive test. I thought we had it, but alas. Alas, indeed. Um, so do I get something for my work? No, I'll, I'm fine. I'm sure you'll get it right next time. Yes, right, you have a point there. If we allow ourselves to be stopped by every obstacle, we will we will never get anywhere. This is for you, sister. A little bit of money. Uh, magnificent short. Um, do you have any more work for me? Well, um, yes, why not? I have uh, something for you, Carrie. I need a test subject. Uh, what are you going to inject me with? I'm, I'm going... I'm not... I'm not going to inject you with anything, although if you really wish me to, I had some other things I've been wanting to... No, no, that's a whole different story. Listen, during the years, I've had some... The, which years? Some years. I've had some time to... Oh, yeah, that people do say it like that. During the years. No, they don't. They don't say it like that. For years. Yes. For years, I've had some time to... No. Over the years. That's the word. Yeah. Over the years, I've had some time to 
pursue a more personal project. Not many of my colleagues are aware of what I'm doing, sister, so I ask of you to keep this between you and me. Now, um, as an organic chemist... Uh, uh, no, as an expert in the field of organic chemistry... I'll just be straight with you. I've been wishing to make the perfect alcoholic beverage. Yes, that's right. I am making strong liquor, approximately 50% alcohol content. Now, that's... that's decent. At least for me, that is, of course, not the most important thing. What is most important is the taste, smell, consistency, and all the other qualities. You know, you you would like the drink your itself to be enjoyable first and foremost, right? Uh, a 50% alcohol? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> I would like it to be bearable, first and foremost, because the enjoyment is going to come from the alcohol at that point. That's, 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 that, yeah, that's just, that's where you are. It, not enjoyable. I mean, although, no, yeah, it's the, I was going to say, although you can, you can enjoy very high percentile uh, alcoholic bever beverages, but again, the enjoyment comes from the alcohol, not, not from the beverage, because the, it's not, it, it's not going to taste of anything. I mean, it's going to taste of the alcohol, but anyway. And you need a test subject because... Hold on, I'm not finished. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, right. Now, there aren't many natural ingredients containing adequate amounts of sugar to convert to alcohol during the distillation process. Not that... Not that are available... Note? What? Oh, none. None... Yes, none, instead of not. Uh, none that are available to me, at least. I mean, there are some mushrooms which uh, that can be used technically, but um, short tentacles pull me down and strangle me. Those produce dreadful results. I have no idea how underrail folk can consume that swill. Iodine, pardon me, but that thing's worse than boiled rat hound urine. To get to the point, the liquor I make is synthetic, but the aim is to produce a very pleasant result, as if it was a nature's gift and not, well, laboratory meddling. Go Every Oh, you poor fool. You poor fool. Synthetic. That's like that's even synthetic even comes from the word that um is synonym, you know, synthesis is synonym to distilling or dis distilled. The synth the synthesis of something is the distilled version of that something. You know, or, or at least you can put it like that. Uh, it's not really a synonym, but it kind of works like it in certain, in certain circumstances. More importantly, all alcohol, especially such high concentration alcohol beverages, is made in the la in a laboratory. Like the freaking, it's the 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 like one of the most common laboratory equipments is a distiller. It's it's the still. It's well, still is just an abbreviation for the distiller, I believe. Um, but, you know, the boiler, that boiler, and then you have the alembic and al alembic or whatever it's called. All that sort of stuff. That's like, that's that's basic alchemy. When you're making spirits, you're making alchemy. Oh, well, I say alchemy. I mean, I was thinking of alchemical ingredients in, in Morrowind, really. Uh, but uh, but you know what I mean. It's it's, it's laboratory. It's, it's, it's chemistry. That's like, duh. What? What? Because the thing is... What do you mean synthetic alcohol, though? I don't, I'm not sure. Like, yes, it's synthetic alcohol, but is that even a thing? I, I like because I know I know there's a this joke about in future in futuristic games. This game doesn't have the credentials the credentials for that though, because this is very down to earth. So it's not really very futuristic. But in Fallout 2 specifically, there's these folks in um, in uh, what is it called? Vault CD, um, where they talk about synthetic alcohol, and they just hand wave it away, and you're su you're not supposed to think too hard about that. They don't go into this type of detail, um, and so they don't dig themselves into a, ho a, ho a hole. Uh, because let me let me actually look it up. As far as I can find out, there's no such thing as a, a synthetic alcohol, uh, and the ones that exist are just different types of alcohol, uh, which need to be to be synthesized, just like normal ethylene. Uh, alcohol, which is, you know, what you find in, in wine and beer and all this sort of stuff. That's also synthesized. Um, well, actually, it isn't synthesized in beer and, not, and wine. It's just a byproduct of, ferment, of the fermentation uh, process. Uh, but in a, in a still, it is synthesized. Uh, but, yeah, basically, it's... 
I think I think a lot of people are calling it synthetic alcohol. It's just a different type of alcohol uh, that gets you the high, but doesn't get you the um, the hangover. And as far as I can tell, it's still th synthesized and it's not like uh, assembled in laboratory, as in because th there's like the, a mixture of carbon cells and a mixture of oxygen cells and a bunch of other stuff that goes into making. Uh, Ethylene, or what is it called? I, I, I didn't look that up. You know, the normal alcohol. It's got a name, uh, and it's because it's just a chemical compound. So you can synth you can make that. You can synthesize it through different means other than than uh, um, normal a uh, normal steel. Um, but um, the, the easiest way is just through, through a steel, and it, it's still the same compound. Like there's literally no difference. Synthetic alcohol, in that sense, which it isn't. It's just normal alcohol. Uh, if it's made in a laboratory, or if it's m made. Uh, by the fermentation of a of a rotten fruit and by the wayside of a road it's still it's the, it's the same exact compound so anyway the point is this is sort of a throwaway um sci-fi style thing and it's this guy is explaining it way too much and the, the all the holes are starting to show anyway the aim is to produce a very pleasant result as if it was a nature's gift and not laboratory man meddling Good enough even for our illustrious iodine himself. But one needs to be an expert for even small mistakes can cause the end result to be disastrous. So I need a volunteer. Yes, that, that, that sounds like a lot better than test subject. I need to remember that. Anyway, sister, I need a volunteer to try out several supply, uh, samples. I have prepared, have, I think. I will be doing the testing with you, so do not worry. If I'm drinking it with you, you should know it's good. If you are interested, sister, I have everything close by and we can begin at any time. Now, this is not a scientific test, by the way, because you don't have a control group right off the bat. And also the sample sample rate, the uh, sample size is, is way too small. Although it could be used, like this could be used to at least know that it doesn't kill us. It might kill other people, but it's not going to kill us the first time we drink it. Maybe it's going to kill us tomorrow. But again, that's why it's not scientific. Um, so, I have to go now. Short guide you. Short, short guide you. Because I level up. And also, I will save the game. And uh, and I will I will save the game before, before doing that mission. So, we're not getting any more of these points. That's normal. We are getting our specialization point right there. We have some feats, which is lovely. And uh, I think I'm going to go up on my crafting um, things. So, metathermics. This is still affected by... Oh, this is affected by temporal manipulation. No, what? Metatherms. Yeah, yeah, So, this is... Um, oh, no, it's affected, affected by all of them. Right, 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 right. So, I'm still going to go up on them because... Yeah, I might as well. Um, and then the rest of the stuff probably doesn't matter. We haven't used it in a while. We might use it later, but I'm I'm I'm, I'm being very brutish. And also lockpicks. I think we're gonna be good with that. I'm not sure if we're gonna ever gonna need more of these because we have the extra points anyway. So I think it's good where it is. And uh, I'm gonna go up on mechanics. Uh, maybe I should go up on chemistry as well. I don't know if this is a good investment. I hope it is. There it is. Yeah. Because we might need these for some crafting. And uh, we're reaching the end of the game as well. In terms of the end of the level up thing. So, anyway. Um, wait. Oh, there it is. These are the special perks. So, what are we looking at? We're only level 26? No. Look at the requirements. No, 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 no. That's, that's, uh, that's because we... Yeah. Uh, so let's see. Let's see what we're looking... What we're working with, with these enhanced things. Unarmed uh, and weapon damage. Empowered metathermics grants you empowered invocation ability that increases the metathermic skill by 35% until the end of the turn, but drains all of your remaining side points afterwards. Uh, that's a bit of a problem. But it is powerful. It might really come in handy we'll see flight response uh when starting a turn below 25 maximum health agility increased by two constitution increased by two 
Constitution. Hmm. Dexterity, intelligence, perception, strength. I'm pretty sure I can't... Yes, I'm gonna cancel that. I'm pretty sure I can't enervate any more than these. Because I don't think the UI is set up for that. We did have a pill for... I think I left it back home. That explained what I had to do. Oh, there... Uh, no, no. Yeah, we did have a pill that allowed me to sh uh, switch my my innervation thing. Maybe it's in the... Uh, can I... Maybe it's over here. So it's based on will. Did they not change? So the thing... My thing is... So I just saved. Yes, I want to cancel that. I'm going to save again just in case. So my, my, my idea here is that maybe I want to increase my intelligence. Let me just check. My will, rather. Yeah. Let's just bring our stealth up. Man, we're, we're bad at stealth. Even with all this, just because we have so little agility. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's see if I can increase my intelligence. Again, not intelligence. Will. That's the one. Accept. Oh, right. Specialization. Doesn't matter, because we're reloading. Um, so now I have 18 will. This is pretty powerful for the skills that I'm using. Uh, we can look at it. Yeah, because these are all based on will. Uh, 364, we can compare the difference. Uh, because that's the actual skill level. Uh, rather than 145, it's 364. Uh, 364. But more importantly, can I enervate more things? I can't. As you can tell, there's a limit. Yeah. So, it doesn't matter that I increase my in uh, willpower based on, or re necessarily for the for the enervation. But for the skills, it's actually pretty awesome. It brings it up a lot, actually. Uh, 339, it brings it up to 364. So that's an increase of 25 points in here, uh, which is two and a half levels, which is pretty powerful. But this rate, this stuff is not affecting that anymore, which is a little bit of a letdown. So maybe I'll, I won't increase these anymore. Yeah, I won't increase those anymore and I'll save them for for tailoring and whatnot for, for this. So right here, we're at 90, we have 16. That's good enough. I can make it a little bit better. Uh, let's bring our lockpick up. No, maybe our hacking is better. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Temporal manipulation. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this. I don't know if I'm going to need more, if I, if I should spend more points over here. It's based off of mechanics. Yeah, well, let's let's uh, go in mechanics instead. Uh, oh, right, right, right. Uh, specialization is the same as before. So, yeah, uh, let's put a pin in that. I might increase my, my will. But let's see what else we have. We have increased will. Oh, right, the iron will, which increases the resolve, and I don't care about that. Increased Psy regeneration by 5, though. I do care about that. That's that's pretty awesome. That's pretty fantastic. Um, so, I might go with Mantra. Requires Psy Empathy, so that's pretty good. Let's see if we are missing any. Reduce... Oh, this is to reduce things. It requires a bunch of Constitution. Oh, yeah, these are all for major supplier. No, I was going to say these are all for high-scoring uh, base stats, uh, but it isn't. Major supplier over here is specifically for skills and uh, flight response over here. Uh, I don't think we're going to be missing anything. Uh, we do have empowered temporal manipulation. It requires 100. Oh, yeah, because we only have 75. Heavy weight. What's that? 
Split spear. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in here. We probably looked at it already, but yeah, the non-special skills are not really that important. So I might go with Mantra, because it is pretty awesome. Fight response is a different thing. I think I looked at them already. But, uh, the empowering is interesting, because increasing stuff by three uh, uh, by 35% is pretty powerful, and I might go with that eventually. But right now, I think I'm better off with Mantra. Uh, and the rest of the skills, or the rest of the feet. Don't, the feats don't uh, don't really matter as much. So anyway, let's drink this alcohol situation and uh, and yeah, uh, and die possibly. I volunteer to drink, sister. We are doing important scientific work. No, we're not. We are not doing this out of pure fun. No, it's not pure fun. Now let uh, now please wait for me while I inform Investigator Octavia that we are not to be disturbed. Yes, right. Doors closed, table, bottles, all here. Now, I brought out a few samples. A few, I'm gonna say. There's like ten bottles here. I've been making them for quite some time, Carrie. There is even more that I haven't brought out. Now, this batch, he picks up one of the bottles, was made in uh, year 98. Let us start with that one. He pours the liquid into a pair of shark glasses with great care, not spilling a single drop, and pouring exactly the same amount into both glasses. And then he carefully closes the bottle, Puts it aside and then gives you one of the glasses while keeping the other for himself. There, smell it first and tell me what you think. Um, by the way, you never told me... I'm going to say, by the way, you never told me what you call this drink. Alcosynth, he says. I thought of different names before, but this one is simple and precise. Now smell it and tell me what you think. Okay. You cautiously smell the drink. The scent is smooth and pleasant, with a slight sweet, flowery note. At least reminiscent of those flowers you have had a chance to smell. In addition, it gently tickles your nose without allowing the strong, spirity smell of to overpower it, and make it to overpower your nose, I assume, and make it reek like cheap hooch. All in all, you find it pleasing. Uh, I like it. It possesses a very smooth and flowery scent. Very nice. Apex, he says. I am glad you like it, and I agree with you, you with your assessment completely. That's a typo. Uh, now let us take, uh, no, let us taste it. Okay, I'm gonna take a small sip. As you take the small sip, you immediately feel a warm sensation flowing down your throat and ending somewhere around the chest area, lasting a short period of time before going away. The taste is robust, rich, and uh, has that smooth and mildly sweet flavor you expected after smelling it. Still, it is unmistakably a strong drink, packing quite a punch, and its relatively mild taste could easily fool someone into, th into having too much of it. Gorgias puts his hand on his chest and downs the drink in a single go. Oh, ho, ho. Good stuff. Very good. What did you think of it? Um, well, judging by the exquisite smell, I expected much from the taste, and I wasn't disappointed. Very good. Apex, I'm very glad you like the taste of that one. I hope you like the next sample just as well. Let's move on. He pours two more glasses from the next bottle. Now, Carrie, I took great pride in this batch when I first made it in, 80, in the year 89. Wait, that was before? Sure, whatever. By the chort, that was a long time ago. Nowadays, I feel it is a bit... No, saying it would influence your opinion. Try it first, and then we will talk. So, smell it first. He inhales with a smile. He inhales with a smile on his face. Oh, good, good. He then places his hand on his heart and downs, downs another type of the drink in one gulp. Yep, smell the drink. It smells that, it seems rather, that the smooth and flowery smell of the previous sample tricked you into thinking that this one too would gently caress your nose, figuratively speaking, but instead you experienced an olfactory genocide, figuratively speaking, as it creeps through your nasal cavity da it dazes you like a potent drug, blurring your vision for a moment and even making your head feel as if two trains went through your nostril, figuratively speaking, and collided inside of your skull. Not with your skull, just inside of it, figuratively speaking, obviously. And you haven't tasted the thing yet. Uh, I have to taste it. I better take it easy. I will taste it. Apparently I fade to black on that, so I probably die or something. 
uh, as time flies by and your bloodstream become, beca becomes, that's typos galore in this one particular thing, not just weird phrasing, uh, bloodstream becomes less blood and more alcohol, you start losing your senses of taste and smell and sight and balance. Even the familiar voice inside your head becomes like a bit more difficult to follow, yes. Gorgis downs his shots and looks at you approximate, approximately at you. That it would have been a lot better. This would have been a lot better line if he said that he looks approximately at you, instead of the periods and what. Because that doesn't, you know, it's way less elegant. Short, magnificent. He says that one was a was good. Oh ho ho! What do you say? I'm gonna smell the drink. You feel absolutely nothing. Uh. Yes, right. Drink. He, Hicks. Uh, and I take the shot. You are unable to taste anything. This tastes like red hound urine. That is a filthy lie. Don't make me call Judicator Azarius to lock you up for that. I made this for the 91st anniversary of Chortism, and it was a good batch. You know how much I love Chort and the Iodine and all my brothers and sisters, but unfortunately they didn't get the chance to taste it. Uh, yeah, can I ask you a question? Yes, I ask. Why did you choose me to drink uh, with you? Ah, there's a good reason for that. You see, I'm cursed by my position, you know. I'm the head of this department and a respected investigator. I have asked people to try some of the liquor I made, or I make, and tell me what they thought. And they said, it is Apex, princip Principal Investigator Apex. But I know they wouldn't tell me the truth. Like, how do you tell a Principal Investigator that what, uh, that what he made with love is bad, if it was indeed bad? Hmm? Hey? Understand what I'm saying, Carrie? Yes. I mean, the other two principal direct directors, Rista and Steff, they're always honest to help, uh, they are always honest and help me with drinking and tasting the samples, but I simply needed someone who didn't know me for a long, for so long, and, uh, you came along, you came along, Hiccup. I need valid, unbiased, uh, unbiased feedback. Yeah, that's not my case. I suddenly feel so tired, he says. Yeah, I have something to tell you, Gorg. I'm listening. I'm drunk. So, uh, whatever I'm, I'm about to tell is, um, is probably gonna... Is bad, maybe? So I sort short of stealing this thing from the research facility. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna reveal myself if I say that. Uh, I really like it here. I actually think red hounds are kind of cute. Uh, they are. I think you are Apex. I punched a wall into oblivion with my fists in Hathor Mine and unleashed a torrent of, to drown a colony of burrowers. Was it with my fists? I don't remember that bit. Um, I am the bloody Invictus. I have a feeling people just don't believe me. I don't understand why that feeling would exist, but anyway. Yeah, Apex, he says. Everything around uh, about Arena seems Apex. I left Core City during the riots, never got the chance to see it. I mean, I went there to discuss the medication export with the oligarchs, but never had the time to see a ma match. I wish I could. I wish I could. Well, time to sample the next sample. How about this one? What year is that? Uh, your intricate question perplexes him. I don't remember. It's a year. I can't. I can tell you that it was a long time ago. Maybe when Monsignor Braddock, uh, the Institute's historian, died. Maybe ten years ago. I don't know. Let's drink. Okay, I'm gonna keep drinking. This game has a lot of uh, drinking situations. What I don't remember coming here. Yeah, that's what happens. Uh, check my inventory immediately. I believe so. Uh, the game save uh, keeps the quick save. We are at 77 weight at the moment. Uh, we're at 77 over there, and we just get teleported over there. That's fair enough, but we're out of time for the day, so uh, we're going to have to remember what uh, went on. Ooh, this is good. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, uh, probably I've been here already. But, uh, yeah, for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Underrail Expedition. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.